is a lot of uh, information out there nowadays about uh, your gut health. And we learned that the human microbiome consists not just of you, but a lot of bacteria that live in our guts that help modulate our internal health. So as a result, we feel like we need to do something to protect that. And one of the things that has come to the forefront is uh, taking foods that contains good bacteria, things like yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, kombucha, miso, and yogurt. They are all good for you. They are low in nitrosamine compounds. There is certainly a growing understanding that it's very important to modulate your immune system. The intestinal microbiome helps regulate the inflammatory cytokines in your body and basically calms the inside. So as a result, you get secondary benefits, meaning cardiovascular health because your blood pressure is not going to be high. You get GI health, meaning you don't have the symptoms of irritable bowel. You have a better digestion. I wouldn't say that you would lose weight, but you would certainly have a more natural appetite. But most of the stuff, if you eat one serving or two serving of yogurt per day, totally helpful and good for your health. For the people who have a higher risk of stomach cancer, certainly this is a concern, um, especially if you have a loved one that have developed a stomach cancer in the past. The uh, population of Asians who have been associated or linked with developing stomach cancer uh, and those eat a higher uh, amount of fermented food tend to have certain genes. So, uh, for those people, I don't think the uh, avoidance of fermented food will um, decrease significantly your risk of cancer. What I do recommend is surveillance. So talk to your GI doctors about getting uh, early surveillance with endoscopies and colonoscopies if you have a strong family history.